630 on this Monday, Chet Lehman, Missy O'Malley with you. Our top story this half hour, we're learning more about a horrific crash in upstate New York over the weekend. 20 people are dead and many of them are family members. CBS's Laura Podesta has our details from New York City. Witnesses say it sounded like an explosion when a stretch limousine crashed in upstate New York over the weekend. These trees just all swayed and you just heard this swoosh. All 18 people in the limo and two pedestrians were killed after it blew through a stop sign and into a ravine. The crash happened Saturday afternoon in Schoharie, about 170 miles north of New York City. Four sisters are among the dead. Barbara Douglas is their aunt. They were fun loving. They were wonderful girls. One has two little children and one has one child. And they now have no home. Our no parents. The group was celebrating the 30th birthday of the youngest sister, Amy Steenberg. She and her husband Axel were married earlier this year. He was also in the limo. They did the responsible thing, getting a limo, so they wouldn't have to drive anywhere. 20 fatalities is just horrific. The National Transportation Safety Board says this is one of the deadliest accidents in recent history. Officials are not speculating on the cause. At this point in time, we look at everything. We look at the vehicle factors. We look at the roadway. We look at survival factors. We look at the, at the condition of the drivers. Local officials say this intersection has been prone to accidents in the past. Laura Podesta, CBS News. And a vigil will be held tonight for those victims. Family and friends have set up a GoFundMe account to help with the expenses. So sad. CBS This Morning will be live in upstate New York with the very latest from that crash scene as well, coming up at 7 o'clock. Yeah, so sad. Matt